crochet cousins, you're watching La Shonda Rice. She is the owner, author, and doll designer of the Christian Crochet Addict. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are working with a 3.5 millimeter hook today. It doesn't matter what size hook you use, just as long as you're comfortable with it. And we are using this beautiful fluorescent green. It's called Glow Worm by Red Heart Super Saver. In order for you to master the magic circle, aka magic ring, you have to have patience. What I do is I wrap the yarn over my two fingers and pull that loop underneath the loop that was on my fingers. Practice, practice, practice. That is the best advice that I could give you in chain one. That does not count as a single crochet or a chain. It's just a little knot to hold the ring in place. Tighten up on it. And then we are going to do six single crochets in the magic ring, like so. Now I should have announced this before the video, but the magic ring is actually an advanced slash intermediate step that you will learn doing crochet. It will help you and save you when you are trying to make a circle. It is a clean finish. There are no holes. You don't have to worry about chaining to and sometimes having that little hole if you're making a baby shoe or a hat. This is the perfect way to start. Let's try that again, shall we? And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's slow it down for the lovers out there. <laughs> Y'all remember when the DJs used to say that? Okay, all right, whatever. Wrap the yarn over your two fingers and take that long loop and you're going to place it underneath that loop that you put over your two fingers. Once you have that loop pulled up, you're going to remove your two fingers Grip that yarn. You see how I'm gripping it? Make sure that you're comfortable. It is a little fiddly at first, but hold that sucker in place. Hold on to God's unchanging hand, y'all. Then you're gonna place your hook in the loop and chain one. This does not count as a chain. This does not count as a single crochet. It's just to lock your stitches in place. You see, we did it. You're doing good so far. All right, make sure you have a good grip. And now we are going to work single crochets inside the ring. Notice that I'm trying to make sure that my grip is perfect. I don't want to lose my ring. You want to make sure that it is secure and you're going to yank up a little bit on that yarn and place your first single crochet inside of the ring. Hold it in place and pull through. You are going to repeat the single crochets in the ring for a total of six times. Come on, you could do it. If you find that your ring is too big, you can always make it a little smaller. Just tug on that tail and it will shrink a circle.
Okay, we are getting to the end. Once you have six single crochets in the ring, we're going to do the most satisfying part of this, and that is pulling the ring close. And now here comes the part I was talking about. Oh, the most satisfying part of the magic ring is pulling that sucker close, y'all. I don't know. Listen, don't judge me. That is the most satisfying part to me. If you pull it tight enough, that circle in the middle will be non-existent. If you are continuing to work in the round, you will go ahead and place a single crochet in that first stitch. And here it is, right there at the top. Now, depending on the pattern, you may do a slip stitch and a chain one, or a slip stitch, chain two, or just dive right on in and continue with single crochets. Now let's try that one more time. And don't judge my nails. Y'all know we've been under quarantine. Love me through it. Wrap that yarn over your two fingers and take that long piece and pull it right through that loop that's wrapped around your fingers. You are going to place your crochet hook inside that ring and chain one. Again, this chain one is to secure your work. This does not count as a chain or a single crochet. Place six single crochet in the ring. Notice that I had to tighten up the ring. It was a little too big. You can always do that during your single crochets, after or before. It's your world. Right, I think we're coming to the last one and then we're going to pull the ring close and amen. That is it. That is pretty much the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to secure it with a knot. Again, I prefer to secure it with the knot when I have reached my second or third row, but honey, you can secure it whenever you're ready. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Because of super supportive crochet cousins like you, we are afforded the opportunity to create free tutorials for everyone. Thank you.